What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So I've been wanting to go over this NVIDIA broadcast app for a couple of days. I've been waiting for this to come out. I use Vcam a lot. I've been using that ever since I started my channel back in September of 2019 to uh, do background replacements, background cutouts, removal background blur and all that kind of stuff and we'll take a quick look at vcam uh, because they do have their newest version out we'll take a look at that uh, here as well so you can see uh, if you're not familiar with vcam what what i'm referring to but nvidia broadcast studio is probably going to be my my new go-to uh, that i'm going to be using for all of my background replacement blur removal and things for uh, my mic and background removal because that's uh, proving to work really really well here on the nvidia broadcast studio so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go over to the website to nvidia broadcast and just download and install the broadcast studio now if you're wondering about the system requirements that you've got here, the GPU requirement is a GeForce RTX 2060, a Quadro RTX 3000, or a Titan RTX or higher. So these are really made for the RTX line of cards. You're not going to be able to use this on a GTX card. I happen to have an MSI Gaming Z RTX 2060 in here and it's working really, really well. 8 gigs of RAM or higher, Intel Core i5-8600 or an R5-2600 or higher. Uh, NVIDIA display driver 456.38 or higher. I had to uh, update my drivers in order to get this to work. So if you have any trouble installing, go check and make sure that your drivers are up to date, whether uh, you do that with GeForce Experience or whatever uh, you use there. And then internet connectivity during the installation. Now, after you install this app, you need to restart your system for everything to kick in, and then you can go in and do your setup, which is what we're going to do. I've already got everything set up, but I'm going to overview the app with you. So let's get out of here. And I've installed NVIDIA Broadcast Studio, and here we have it right here. So the first area that we've got is for our microphone. So you'll be able to go in here and choose whatever microphone you're wanting to use. Uh, for me right now, it's going to be my Yeti mic. And then right here we have our effect for noise removal, which is the only effect in here right now. I'm sure down the road they'll probably add in other things. And this is where you can turn your noise removal on and off, and you have your strength right here. And we'll take a closer look at that and how it performs here in just a second. But it works really, really well, uh, kind of depending on what kind of noise it's blocking out or how much you're talking because it'll use your voice and your volume kind of as a baseline to cut out other noise. Sometimes if you stop talking for a little bit, it'll kind of allow those other noises back in. Uh, it's just something that I noticed on there. So let's move over to speakers. So right here, you'll be able to choose your audio source. And here we've got the my different options, my uh, my Yeti microphone for if I'm using uh, my headphones or my regular speakers or my digital output right here. And then the effect for that, you can have noise removal as well. So that's your options for your speakers, nothing major there. And then over to camera, which is still camera beta, but this is where you can come in. You can pick your camera source. Um, right now, my options would be my capture card, uh, XSplit VCam or your regular uh, webcam. So what's interesting here with XSplit VCam you can only, uh, unless you're using it through the capture card or using camera through multiple capture cards, you can't uh, use your USB camera with two programs at one time. So what you have to do is if you want to use XSplit VCam to cut out your chair because Broadcast Studio doesn't have that option yet, uh, VCam does if you're willing to do that, you could technically use VCam as your source in Broadcast Studio. You are going to use more system resources though. So I just have my, my camera chose here. All right, so we've hopped over here really quick. I've, I've shut down NVIDIA Broadcast Studio and I had to make another clip in order to do this since I couldn't share. Um, but here is the newest version of VCam running right here. Um, this is what I was using all the time before NVIDIA's Broadcast Studio app came out. And I still really like VCam. You can see here with their new software, their new update that came out a couple weeks ago, we're getting really clean cutouts as well. Um, almost as good as NVIDIA's Broadcast Studio. It is really close. And the difference here is I can have my chair uh, gone as well. So let me just show you those settings real quick in case you're not familiar. So you have your hardware acceleration, obviously your GPU almost every time. Uh, from my quality, I'm going to be highest. And then adaptive filter, this is what makes the cutout a little bit nicer. So if I turn that off, you can see where my hat's disappearing in the dark there. And you'll see um, the hands don't stay quite as nice. See them flashing in and out there. Um, the adaptive filter uses more resource, but this gives you that nicer, that's going to, um, give it a second there. There it goes. That's going to give you a little bit nicer cutout. 
So you're still going to get the flashes and stuff, but it'll just wind up being a little bit nicer uh, when you're doing everything there. So um, the always 30 FPS, you can do that and it will just like resolution and stuff for you as you go and then remove chair. This is where the broadcast studio does a nicer job of cutting out the chair and a nicer job overall. But VCAM has been doing uh, really well. So we'll do the remove chair and it always seems to do a little bit better with that. Now, let me change over to remove background. So there you go. And I'll actually do an even cleaner cutout depending on what's behind you, what kind of colors you're dealing with, whether you have your hat on or off, um, all kinds of different things like that, what your background picture is. Again, original background, just like I was showing before, no problem there. You've got your blur. Um, so I'm a big fan, fan of VCam. This is 2.0. Their uh, newest software, and like I said, I, I was using this all the way up to um, to when Broadcast Studio came out to start using it. I think it just does a nicer job with the cutout, and I think it does a fantastic job with the background noise removal. So, And I do like that feature of where the camera can follow you around. So for now, Broadcast Studio is probably going to be uh, where it's at for me. So let's jump back over to the uh, NVIDIA Broadcast Studio. And then, so once you've got your camera source, you've got your uh, resolutions in here. Right now, I'm sitting at my 1080p 30. Um, I, 1080p 60 is capable with this camera, so uh, it just happens to be that this program won't go higher than that on 1080p. If you want 60 FPS, you're going to have to go with 720, uh, which most of the time, if you're streaming or um, not doing a full screen, screen camera, that's going to work just fine. Now we can move on. We have our uh, effect, which for us here, we have background blur, so we'll just bring up my uh, background here. And then you've got the strength of your blur, just like any other other typical. And you can see that um, the uh, the broadcast studio is doing a really, really good job of of cutting me out and the chair out and um, and blurring the background. It's doing a, doing a really nice job with that. And then you, the next effect we have is background replacement, which is what I was just on. Again, pretty pretty nice job, much better than most programs I've used. It has a little bit of issue with chair sometimes, which is why on VCAM I tend to just cut out the chair. Um, but even around my black hat with the dark picture background, the, the cutout is still pretty clean and pretty nice. And I'm really happy with what I'm seeing here on the NVIDIA Broadcast Studio. And then we've got background removal. So if you were in a game, matter of fact, let me bring up my studio here. And you can see now it's just just me on the bottom and no no picture behind me there for your cutout works really really well here now this a little bit of a rough video not a lot of editing i'm just going through this with you guys and um you know i'm not going to make it too fancy i just want you to see how the app works and how to use it uh everywhere and then we've got right here auto frame now this one i really really like the camera will will follow you around which i think is really cool up and down as well so really cool and you've got your zoom options right in here so you can zoom in and out farther um, let me show you this if this will work let me go full screen cam and you can see that a little bit better there pretty cool right so that's just another feature now unfortunately you can't be replacing your background or whatever and have it do that i think it would be kind of cool if it would if it would follow you around that background but still still working really well so let me just switch this we'll, we'll switch back over to this view here all right and then like i said you've got zoom option we can get really really close if we want to we don't want to do that um and then you can zoom all the way out with your camera so um, but this is a really cool feature i wish that you could could combine like the auto frame with maybe the background replacement and just kind of have it follow you around a little bit there i think that would be pretty neat but uh really really cool um i really like that it works really well so that's pretty much all of the options for you to go through uh in here for just your options for your camera your camera source your what kind of effect that you want to do as you can see like i said the the uh the cutouts work really really well our speakers and our microphone so the next thing i want to do is we'll just do a little test i'm just going to bring up like a lawnmower noise on my phone i don't have any fans down here right now or anything so i'll just kind of we'll just kind of do an example here now you can actually do a recording and play here and you can test and record your own samples and try this out as well but we're going to do it right through Streamlabs since we're recording here so um let's turn 
Let's turn background removal off. And let me see if I can, I want you to see both of these. So I'm going to bring this up on my phone. Should be a bit loud. You can see the bars moving in the in Streamlabs there. This isn't a perfect example, but it's just a kind of a quick idea. So now what I'm going to do is click and turn on noise removal. There you have it. You see the uh, the bars aren't even really moving there as much. Now, if I stop talking, you'll hear it more or it'll pick it up. But it does a good job of using your voice as as the baseline. So pretty cool. Let me turn that back off. I'll just show you. Okay. Super loud there. And then we'll just click it again. And there you go. Really does a nice, nice job. I really like, I hope that comes out good, decent enough in the video to show you. There's a lot of different examples, but even if you have a TV on next to you or a fan going, or I've even noticed like if my son's playing in the background with his uh, cars and stuff like that, making a bunch of noise, uh, this does a really good job. Now, sometimes the clanging noises or dishes clanging, uh, like a loud pitch uh, repeated, sometimes those will just get through. It won't block out everything, but a majority of the noise, especially a steady running noise, like a lawnmower or a fan or something, or your neighbor's doing something and you're wanting to stream or record a video, this does a really nice job of removing that that background noise and i'm really really happy with that that's why the nvidia broadcast studio is uh replacing vcam for me most likely and it's also just going to be a kind of all-in-one uh does everything i needed to do to make the videos and um for live shows soon and streaming and things like that so for right now that's going to be be my go-to now to show you really quickly once you have this installed and you're using it if you want to use actually use it within your apps um like in uh, Streamlabs here, you would go right into your settings and your properties and then right here. So where you would normally pick your your regular microphone or whatever in here, you're just going to pick the NVIDIA broadcast for your mic. You're going to do the same thing for your uh, video capture. So let's go into properties here. And then I have a bunch. I have XSplit VCAM, which is what I normally use. My regular right to my webcam, uh, Logic Capture, and then right here, NVIDIA Broadcast. So any any program that you're in, um, Discord or whatever, uh, let me show you as well over on Audacity. As long as you've got the studio open and you don't have to leave it open, open, you can close it and it'll go down to the system tray. So same thing right here. My microphone for Audacity, which I used to do a lot of voiceovers. Instead of just picking my regular uh, microphone, my Yeti mic right here, I can pick my NVIDIA broadcast. So in any app that you're using in any streaming service, all you need to do is pick NVIDIA broadcast as your source for your camera, for your microphone, have the settings uh, how you want it in here, and you're going to be good to go. Really easy to use. I've been having a lot of good luck with it, and it's just been working really good for me for everything, really, for the for the camera, for background removal, um, for the microphone, I really, really am enjoying the noise removal. Um, that's making a lot more thing, a lot, uh, a lot of things more possible uh, for me when there's a lot more noise going on or we're really busy. So, anyways, guys, I hope this helped you out a little bit. I just kind of wanted to do a quick overview of Nvidia's Broadcast Studio software here, show you how it works a little bit and um, how you can use it in all of your software. You shouldn't have any problems. So, if you have any questions, hit me up in those comments below. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Ring that notification bell so you know when I drop new videos. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.